Hello, and welcome to Drug Gaming. And welcome back to our Let's Play of Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy II, on the Super Nintendo. In our last episode, we got to the top of the Tower of Bad Bill. We saw Rubicant, the last of the fe elemental fiends. Uh, he kind of just left. And his weird companion, Dr. Legui? Legway? Um, assaulted us with his Frankenstein robot monster and then turned himself into a skeleton and we had to beat him down. And when we did, we got the tower key. And we are now heading down to try and stop his super laser from killing the dwarves. Let's go. That's one heck of an intro. Of course, we're still here in the Tower of Bad Bill. I'm going to run from this alert for the first fight of this episode because I think that sets a good, a good precedent that we just are cowards. No, I'm joking. Um, I still love that effect, that glue, glue blowy. I said that the last time we came here. That blue, glowy effect. Kind of cool. Pretty neato. All right. I'm going to assume that this key unlocks this door. If this key does not unlock this door, and again, we're not fighting Tofus. They just take too much resources. Then we're going to have a problem. All right, let's see what we got. Yes, okay. So where's our tower key? Opened the door. Super cannon. Goodbye, dwarves! Your fun is over! You! How did you get here? Get them! I wonder what these guys are. Oh, just some dark imps. Not... Not an impressive boss battle. Not quite. Even Rydia can kill a Dark Imp with her knife. And she gained a level for it. How about this? No! What'd they do? No one can stop Super Cannon anymore! Oh! What? Yang! What are you doing? I'll take care of this. Go on. Escape. No, don't! It'll explode! Go! Ow! Ninja punched us! Yang! Tell my wife to live for me. Open up, Yang! Yang! Please, please don't do this! It was a good trip with you all. Yang, open the door! Ah! No! Well, that's unpleasant. Yang! Our little con yell for the thing, man. So, so far, Palum, Portum, Tella, and now Yang have all been added to the list of heroes who have sacrificed themselves. That's kind of sad. Do we go up or down? Let's go up, I guess. Let's go up to where that teleporter was. Hey, we missed an item somewhere. We did miss an item. That's that's upsetting. That's as upsetting as the death of Yang. I'm going to go back to where Rubicant went through that teleporter at the top and see if we can't leave through that. I can't believe that Yang's dead. That's terrible. I'm really getting tired of characters dying on us here.
I'm really getting tired of getting attacked walking through this dungeon. Alright. Let's see if we can't just use this teleporter. Looks like a warp device, but we can't use it. Well, that's not useful to us. I was kind of helping we could use the warp device. Oh man, and we lost Yang's super fists. That's also upsetting. Huh. Well, that sucks. Yang was useful. Why can't we lose an Edward? Can we go back in time and have Edward go in and stop the super cannon instead? Is there anything up here? What do we do? I really want to just look around the floor here. Like, can we push a button here or anything? No. Like, there's a whole part to this dungeon we can't get to right now. I'm gonna exit out. All right, we can't use exit. Do we have to walk out of this dungeon the whole way? Oh, that's gonna be rough. If that's the case, holy schmolies. Glue blow. And it wouldn't let us cast the exit spell, so... I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what happens as we go along here. Listen, monsters, you're getting on my nerves with the attacks here. Down you go, Chimera. So, I mean, we have to... Literally have to walk all the way back down. We can't... that egg again. What happens if we use the warp spell? Will we go up or down? Let's give that a shot. Can't use the warp spell either. Okay. Go ahead and save. Oh, that's not a save room. Oh, that's right, it's around the corner here. I mean, I didn't miss a door or something, did I? Like another route we're supposed to take? Just seems odd that it's going to make me retrace my steps through this whole dungeon. Here, we'll use this save room over here. If we can get there at all. This is just awkward. Like, why would they... Who would design this dungeon 
and have you do the whole thing again in reverse to get out. That just seems weird. And not weird in a good way either. Like weird in a we're doing something wrong, going the wrong way kind of weird. Like, hey, it's really like this this guy. He gets a call from his wife. And he's on the way home. And she goes, Honey, are you okay? He goes, Not now, dear. It's not a good time. And she goes, Oh goodness, don't tell me you're on I-95. And he goes, Yes, dear, I'm on I-95. It's a hectic. She goes, I know, I just saw on the news. There's some crazy guy. And uh uh he's going the wrong way in traffic. And he says back, Honey, I don't know what you're talking about. There's not just one crazy guy. There's hundreds of them. It's a great joke. I'm trying to remember the way we came in. That was it. So, oh, it wanted us to walk out here. Okay. You have amused me a lot. Golbez. Oh, it's Golbez. Let's get Golbez's voice back. This is all for play, kids. Farewell. What's he mean it's all for play? Uh-oh. Run, Cecil, run, Cecil, run, Cecil. Just in time! Good catch, Sid! Sid! Oh, that's a catchy tune. Where's Yang? He... To destroy the super cannon. I see. Poor Yang! Who's this girl? Rydia, the color of mist. Shucks! They are coming! Oh, it's the Red Wings! What are we gonna do? Can't we shake them off? Looks like they've modified the Red Wings! Woo! He's catching up! Give us your best Enterprise! Woo! The engine can't last much longer. Cecil, take the control! What are you gonna do, Sid? Sid! What are you doing? Aw, uh, is he gonna Fury Road fix the engine while we're driving? There we go. Get out of the underground! I'll close the hole with this bomb! He's not going to do what I thought he was going to do. Oh, Sid! I wanted to see your children, Rosa. Cecil, but I guess I'll stay here for a while. Go to Baron and get my workers to help you. Sid, come on! Be good, Rydia. Hurry to Baron! Woo! What's he doing? Why didn't he just throw the bomb overboard? Golbez, I'll show you the great fireworks of Sid, the Master Engineer! Woo! Holy moly! I forgot how many people died in this game. Sid, I... It's too dangerous. We'll head toward Baron. Oh man. So Sid's dead, and we can't get into the underground. Whoa. All 
right? Well, to Baron, I guess. As we lose more party members. Um. Just throw another body on the pyre that is our adventure, I guess. Well, Sid said to come back here and get his folks to help. So let's go talk to Sid's folks. Dialogue the same? Yeah, a monster was turning into our king. So that dialogue's all the same. Uh, where are Sid's guys? They're on this side, right? Hey, Sid's dude. Cecil, boss ordered us to attach this hook to the Enterprise. No, it won't take long. Okay. This is a very noisy type of construction. I like how they had their little conversation off to the side. Sprite work is great. Now you can hook and carry the hovercraft. Oh! To hook or let go of the hovercraft, press A over the craft. Now you can go to the Cave of Eblon by the Tower of Babel. Bring the hovercraft to the shore and detach it there. Then use it to get to the cave. Sid is... Oh, I can tell you are having trouble handling him. But I won't blame you. Well, good luck! Well, they don't seem too concerned about the death of Sid. Alright, so, we have a hook on La Hovercraft. Oh hey, it looks like an eagle. Didn't notice that before. Alright, where were these the Hovercraft? Um, there's Kaipo, so... Damn Scion, there it is. So let's see. Whoop! One Hovercraft? Boom! Oh yeah, we got a Hovercraft. Oh, yeah. All right, so he said it was south of the Tower of Babel, which we saw because it was big and sticking out of the ground. Um, where was that? Uh, I think it was to the south, right? There's Mysidia. There it is. So there's the Tower of Babel. Ah, look, there's a cave right there. There's also this castle we saw earlier that we kind of avoided. Let's see what's up with this castle over here. So let's get a save. Let's not save on top of the airship. Rule number one. What's going on in here? The city of Eblen. There's nothing here. It's destroyed. Like how I went the side path and not the main path. I mean, there's a right tower. Have we got secret passages like we've seen before? Ah, uh -huh. yep, of course we do. Like there was never any question. 600 gold. Not an impressive amount. Can't go up. Can we go back here? No. How do you get back around that way? Ah, uh, you go up here? No. No. How do you get to that chest? Huh.
Oh, you fall on top of it. Okay. Aha! I tried tapping the button a whole bunch. Oh, secret basement! Huh! None of the stuff here is very impressive. Is Wait, there are some monsters. Some mad ogres. I think we fought these a long time ago. I don't remember them being... Oh, that one hit pretty hard. Okay. Alright. Thank goodness we saved before we came in here. Uh, what am I doing? Cure 2 for Cure 1's fine. Okay, maybe should have cured 2. How about some Shiva? Take some sparkly ice crystals. Overall, did nothing for damage. Okay. Let's see. We have Kane jump at number two. I feel like number one's got, yeah, close to dead. So Ice did little damage. Let's try just the straight up Chocobo bow attack. And let's uh, get a cure. Yeah, just another cure one. He just did a, a large amount of damage that we were just not prepared for, and it scared me when he hit Rosa. But it looks like we're okay. Huh, Chocobo did hardly anything. Weird. Take out this last guy here. Yeah, he just got a critical hit, I guess, on uh, Rosa. It's not that scary. I was concerned for a minute, but I need not have been. Nice little surprise, though. Didn't expect a monster chest. What did we get? An elixir! Okay. Full health and magic point restoration. Worth a fight to get one of those if we need it. So that was right tower. Let's check the left hand side of this place. I still don't know why I couldn't get to the. Oh, is this going to be the exact opposite? No secret passages there. Are we just going to have to do the drop down thing twice? Is that what's going to happen? Here too. Suspicious looking. Okay. Oh, I wonder. Yep, there we go. Mute arrows and 2,000 gold, but not really much. And still a treasure chest that I can't figure out how to get to. Just bothering me just a little, but that's okay. Let's check out the center of this castle, see what's going on. A cure too. Ooh. I want those treasures. In the king's room. There's nothing here. Let's do a little bit of quick wall talking. Just to check. Yeah, I don't see a way into those rooms. And there's no hidden stairs or anything here. Nope. Hmm. Weird. So it's just like a destroyed place. Eblam. 
emblem. Weird. Well, let's uh, tent it up. Kind of interested. What kind of monsters are over here? Like, what's the monster level like in this area? Huge cells. We'll know when they do an attack how tough they are. So far, not too bad. They cast the Remedy spell, which no one cares about. So, I mean, if that's what we have to worry about, there's not much. Oh, that was a lot of gold. Well, let's, let's see here. Let's get in our hovercraft. Whoop! And folks, when we return, we will head into the cave and find out whatever we're supposed to find out over here. Until then, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon!